hi hello so in this tech tip i will show the functionality of feature renaming so basically the practical use of feature renaming functionality wherein consider a case uh, where a user is uh, creating this model uh, the model is simple and that is created out of these many eight features and the user works in an organization in such a manner that there are multiple users who are working at multiple locations and with multiple time zone so there is a need that this designer should convey his design philosophy to all the other users so that anybody of them can uh, do the modifications in this design based on the need so for this purpose the user is supposed to do the renaming of all the features so that the features should have some meaningful understandable names and based on the names the other uh, designers can understand the philosophy uh, behind creating these all features for the model so for this i am having the uh, list of uh, the other names of these features with me currently the features are having default system names like revolve one pattern one of profile rib one round one and so on so i'm having the names and uh, let me uh, find those names let me copy them quickly so as to save the time so first is this name revolve base solid so i'm just uh, cutting it from here now for this first revolve feature i will go for edit definition and in the properties tab the default system name is available revolve one so here i am pasting that name and then i press enter so the name comes over here and say okay so now this first feature has been renamed then second one is a pattern feature and that is for the profile rib feature so over here the profile rib one one this is the pattern leader over here so for this i will uh, give a name as support rib so again for this profile rib one one feature which is the pattern leader i will go for edit definition and in the properties i will uh, change the name to support rip presenter okay now the same name uh, comes over here for all the uh, rip features and also the pattern name shows that pattern one of support rip so this is also properly renamed then uh, for whole that is not happening if i try to change the name of whole one then that is not happening with the pattern so in pattern the whole one is still there that's why here i will uh, implement some different philosophy let me first uh, copy this name threaded through hole then for this uh, whole one feature instead of going to edit definition i will go for right click menu and i will select rename and just paste that name press enter so now that name comes for all of them properly then for remaining uh, around five round features i can implement any of these uh, methodologies so let me do it quickly first one is the vertical edges round that is nothing but the round one okay then next one is rib bottom edges round that should be the round two then next one is casting bottom edges round that should be the round 3 then casting upper edges round that should be the round 4 feature and for the last round 5 feature the name should be rib inclined edges round okay so after the renaming let us now see each of these features separately to understand their uh, new name as well as the uh, feature in the graphics window so i will go for first uh, feature and i will say insert here so now this uh, first feature is only uh, shown in the graphics window remaining ones are suppressed and now it is properly understandable that revolve based solid it's this feature so this is basically a solid of revolution which contains one section then let me resume this second feature so when i say pattern of support rib that is showing all the four ribs so it is clearly understandable that these are used to support the casting 
then next one about pattern of thread through holes so again it will show the four through holes which are threaded then next is about first round feature so now see the this round feature is applied for the vertical edges of the rib feature so all the ribs uh, their vertical edges are having this round that's why the name is proper then rib bottom edges round so these are the bottom edges which are rounded by using this feature then next one is casting bottom edges round so for this casting these bottom edges they are rounded then similarly for casting upper edges that is over here the upper edges of casting now the only remaining things are incline edges of the rib so that's why last feature is rib incline edges round so by this uh, all the features they are have been given proper understandable names and if the designer uh, shares this model with any of his co-workers all of them will, will understand the design philosophy which he has used and all of them will be able to edit this model further so i hope this topic is clear thanks for watching the tip tip